Well, while 2017 has been a record-breaking year for stocks so far, the summer months have historically been slow for the market. In this morning's U.S. Bank Economic 360, U.S. Bank Vice President and Senior Portfolio Manager Mike Deniman joins us to talk about what to expect this summer, which is now officially underway. Mike is with Business Watch producer Kelly Leon in the studio. Mike and Kelly. Thanks, Peg. Mike, I, I've known you long enough now. I know the answer. Sell in May and go away. So you've got it down. Right? Yeah, I don't even need to be here, <laughs> right? Oh, yes, you do. But uh, sure, so that old adage, we talk about it all the time. Yeah. And even though we're now in June, the implications are still the same. And that is that, as Peg said, the warmer months tend to be slower ones for the market. So that whole sell in May go away, sometimes misinterpreted as an advice to avoid stocks entirely. And it's not exactly that so much as just that recognition that the cooler months tend to be better ones for stocks. Gains cluster in the first quarter, in the fourth quarter, the middle quarters are, are more of, of a slowdown. Mm -hmm. So uh, now that we are officially into summer, yes. um, uh, again, history would say that this will, should be a, a calmer period for the market. So we're less than a week into summer. Where do we stand? Right. So, well, you know, as we've talked repeatedly on this program the last few months, it almost sounds like a broken record. <laughs> you know, the market's setting these record highs time after time. Yeah. So really, the market's already done a lot of work so far this year. You know, if you recall, we've mentioned that historically the market will average a gain of about seven to eight percent in any given year. We're only in June, and already the market's gained about ten percent this year. So, if 2017 wow. were to stop today, yeah. we'd consider it a, a pretty comfortably above average year. So, that's just been a, a, this hot run that the market has been on, going back actually into the latter part of last year. So, it's been a nice run, a great rally, but inevitably there will be a slowdown. Uh, I don't think anybody would be shocked if it were to come during the summer months. So you say inevitably, but how, I mean, wh what's the outlook? How long can we sustain this? Well, uh, Any idea? The, you and no, your crystal ball, yeah, as we the, talk no, about. As always, I'll give the same answer. My crystal ball is a little cloudy, cloudy. there. But <laughs> there will be no shortage of things for the market to be concerned about this summer. Uh, you know, we've got the Fed is still active. They nudged rates higher just a couple weeks ago. Uh, third quarter earnings, I'm sorry, second quarter earnings are right on the horizon. We'll start getting those here in a couple weeks. Uh, there's no shortage of geopolitical events. There's been some terror attacks. There's yeah. been elections in Europe. Your favorite topic, Brexit, Brexit, is coming up on its one year anniversary. And then, of course, everything that's going on in Washington. The market does seem to have some high hopes for some legislation coming uh, from, from Washington. So, so we'll see. There's all those things hanging out there, depending on how they break. Uh, we'll see how the market reacts. So it will be an interesting summer. Yeah. History would suggest, again, that it'll be a slower time. But again, that's no guarantee. Yeah, lots, so much going on, lots right. to watch. Yeah. Um, Thanks for bringing up the Brexit. It is my favorite topic. I, anything to make you happy. <laughs> Thank you, Mike. Thank you.